evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I am not assuming your gender. Happy Monday. Thank God it's Monday. Sure. <laughs> I don't know. Last month was a rough work uh, month for work. We've got to make a better month this month. Especially when you're in sales, you got put up. So clearly, that's on my mind. Um, <clears throat> had to go to the doctor today, so I had to leave work hour and hour and fifteen minutes early. To go to the doctor because of my back, and my groin. Went to do that. Now I have to go to physical therapy and fail physical therapy, or hopefully it makes it better, but fail physical therapy to uh, be approved to get an MRI to go to uh, go to a neurosurgeon to see what's going on. So I figured I at least get the process going on that one, try to rehab myself some and make the most of it. But right now I am on my way to the Brass Pelican to meet up with my buddy, have a little bit of food. some people that said that they liked it when they saw a picture of it so I guess uh, just to kind of get into whatever I want to talk about here it's been a long day I had a work meeting about last month so obviously that's there that's on my mind to make sure that we're looking forward and, and putting up and making making the most of it so I got a lot I got a lot going on this month with everything that I just listed off I have to get my life insurance exam done this month. I have to pass CE exams to continue my to get certified to keep my certification and my license going for insurance. And I got that license last year, so I have to do that continuing education and take that exam by the end of my birth month, which is this month. So, you know, better just be a month of not having a life and being extremely stressed out. But if I can try to manage the best I can, great things are in front. So, we'll see. We'll see if we get the energy up. I'd rather be doing these videos in the morning. This morning, I didn't go to the gym, didn't do anything. A lot of pain. I'm feeling better than I did, but figured uh we'll we'll go and do stretches and do rehab and try to do sit down workouts and stuff to be careful in the meantime but try to do these videos in the morning so definitely feel a lot better energy when i do them earlier so man guys i don't have a lot a lot to say i just know that i believe
believe in myself. I believe in what I'm capable of. And when it comes down to it, I always, I always come through. I always put up. I'm extremely disappointed in myself that last month's performance in the office was in, in numbers. And uh, the worst thing somebody could tell me. But also the best thing if they want to get through to me and tell me and get a reaction out of me or to get results is to tell me that they're disappointed in me. I hate hearing, like, somebody can tell me they're mad at me, whatever. But when somebody tells me that they're disappointed in me, it gets me. Because... <laughs> If you're disappointed in me, I'm probably already disappointed in myself. And hearing that somebody else is disappointed in me, it just, it just, it's an execution thing. You're, I hold myself to a high standard. So when somebody else tells me that they are disappointed in me, well, it's upsetting. It's disappointing. God, I hope that guy that stopped over here on the highway the semi with his dog is just letting his dog out to the bathroom and not letting him free um but yeah you know I'm gonna make the most of it I'll bounce back confidence just gotta put more call volume out put in the right and start maybe working some Saturdays it's gonna be working 6-7 o'clock at night every night trying to put up but I gotta do what I can do to manage and uh, be everything I can be to put up. So, lots in the forefront, lots of stress. But when you're under sales, you gotta put up or shut up. So, I knew what I signed up for when I moved into sales. And uh, when you exceed expectations the first month, it's expected that you do it the second month. And when you don't, and you don't even hit your minimum it's a slap in the face so here I am hoping to make August the best month so if you need insurance or you want insurance prices checked to see if you have good competitive rates give me a call direct message let me know I'd love to help save y'all some money and make sure that I'm doing my job. So, anywho, uh, we'll see if I do another one. I don't know if I will or not. After dinner here, I'm going to put some music on and kind of unwind here. Guys, the big takeaway here is to make sure that you, you, you appreciate each day that you wake up. Even when everything is super stressed out and you just at your wits end. And I know, like, with the injuries and the pain that I've been going through nobody's really going to understand and I've been in some of the worst pain that I've been in a long time and uh, when you're stressed out and you got a lot going on and you're in some of the worst pain that you've ever experienced you, uh, you're you not going to be very happy you're, you're going to struggle and it takes a lot of mental fortitude and a lot of push to kind of work through it and not give up so I mean especially Friday, Saturday, Sunday and extremely this morning the amount of pain that I endured I mean I'm sure a lot of people wouldn't be doing what I've been doing so I'm not going to give up I'm going to keep pushing but just remember guys that no matter how bad it is whatever's going on in life that uh there's light at the end of the tunnel. It's not over. You can you can push through. Great things are going to happen. And uh, you, you just have to be patient. And put your head down and, and push through it. So that's what I'm going to do. Hopefully anybody else of you, if you're struggling out there, and if you've made it this far in the video of my rambling about nothing, um, I do apologize that this video didn't go more direct right away. Maybe I'll do a cycling video to get direct. But anybody who's out there struggling, just remember... You woke up this morning, that's a huge feat and an opportunity in itself. So with that being said, with you being being awake right now, you being alive, and you waking
waking up tomorrow as well, remember this, that you have the opportunity to go after it again. You were given a blessing to be able to chase your passions and do your thing. So with that being said, the two major things you need to be doing is number one, putting time and energy and passion into the things that are going to help you be successful. Number two, putting time, energy, and passion into the things that are going to help you grow. And if you do those two things, time, energy, and passion into those two things, being successful and what's going to help you grow, you will be successful, you will grow, and great things are going to come to you. Okay? Do not give up. If you're stressed out, push through it. Do things that you love. I love to work out. I love to do these videos. I love to, to help people. I love to do a lot of things. So, I'm going to keep doing the things that I love to do to ensure that I make it through and I push through and don't give up. And if you guys watch and make sure you identify the things that you love to do. Don't get lost. Don't stop doing the things that you love because it's a very sad world if you stop. Make sure you know who you are. Make sure you know what you love. And chase it. Chase those things, guys. Life is way too short. It'll pass you by if you don't enjoy it in the moment. Oh, you stop yawning. Anywho, I am almost to the Brass Falcon. We'll see if I put another one out. Thank you for tuning in to possibly, I think it was day 94, day 95 of Dave's Daily D. Dave's Daily Discussions, D3. You know me. I'm Dave. And I will see you guys either later tonight or tomorrow on Two for Tuesday. I'll try to double down and double y'all up for some videos. So, love y'all. Sorry I didn't put anything on on Sunday. I was in way too much pain. Did not leave the house. I just wanted to relax and find myself. So, love y'all. Thank you for tuning in. Hopefully you guys stick with me.